Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to more Apico. It's been a it's been a hot minute. It's actually been twenty days, <laughs> twenty days since I have last recorded um, some Apico. I apologize. Uh, it's been a busy month, and we started about nine hundred other series. But I have not forgotten about this game or my love for this game. Um, I wanted to quickly. There's been a bunch of updates to it as well, with with some new content, mainly just some bug fixes. But the modding has kind of exploded for this game, dude. Uh, look at all of the stuff that has been added. There's an ice cream shop. There's there's teas. There's candy. Dude, there's so much um, to kind of exist in, in the modding space in this game. I know we checked out the fishing, um, and eventually I'm going to want to check out these hoppers as well. But that's not what we're here for today. Today, I, I've sat us on basically the world's longest um, cliffhanger to the series because we were essentially taking the time to stack up a bunch of money so I could eventually buy a boat. And then we're going to take that boat and we're going to go exploring. Um, now, the last that you guys saw, depending on how I upload these videos, I actually streamed a little bit of Apico. And we just sat and basically processed our goods for like a half hour, right? Um, the equivalent of an entire episode of just processing our stuff, getting stuff um, all going so we can make a ton of money and then hopefully buy... Uh, buy a, a better boat, right, was kind of my idea. So here's what we will do, right, here's what we will do. Uh, I didn't even really pick up any of the, the honeycomb, but I think that that's fine, okay? I think it's fine. There's a ton in there. It'll just continue to stack up. I want to empty out our inventory. <laughs> we got so much honeycomb. Holy hell, man. We got so much honeycomb. Let, let's empty out our inventory of some stuff. Um, I also... I, I want to, we, we might as well, so this is currently turning acorns into uh, sap, which is, is good. Uh, that's going to keep going. I have more acorns I can dump in there. We could also dump logs in there, but I think I would rather come over here, and we'll just dump the logs in here, and we'll get those going, turning into sticks. It's an easy way to clear out your inventory, right? You just basically... Uh, basically set up some machines to do a bunch of work for you. I, I think that that is a quite good idea. We can dump some of this stuff in here. Um, and then I, I probably want to just sell a chunk of this stuff. So these sticky pearls I'm going to sell. The beeswax is at least used in some recipes. So I think we're going to save that for right now. I'll put these in here. I'll put these in here. Uh, these waxy pearls we can just sell. Those will go there. And then this other stuff, I'm just going to go drop off over there. But what I do want to take a look at is look at this, man. Look at freaking this. We have ourselves a good chunk of Apicola ready to go bottled up. 19 of them, which is insane, right? Uh, we bought a bunch of bottles. We got a bunch of good things going. So I'm, I'm super pleased. Let's go sell some of this stuff. And then I'm going to tell you right now, we're going on an adventure today. I'm not worrying about our bees, right? We, we've kind of, the whole point of this, right? I've created an infrastructure here where at any given time we can take a couple minutes to just unpack out all the frames, get the honey, make make stuff happen, and, and we're good, right? We'll just have everything that we need. Um, I'm just going to literally place these these bushes because I don't, I don't really need them, right? I don't really need them. So we can come over here. Uh, you want a common bee with nocturnal behavior. I haven't really gotten into the actual breeding of things, but that's okay. This we're still going with too. You you want the the funky apicola that makes you run really fast. I'm I'm not gonna sweat that too much. Let's take a look at you. So this is yeah, we're we're gonna buy the standard boat. Right? We're just gonna buy the standard boat, but I'm gonna sell you all of this stuff first and you're gonna see so 47 for that is nice i just completed a quest how the heck did i complete a quest what 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 quest did i even did i even complete i have no clue i have no clue what quest i completed i i guess we could just chill um but 19 apicola all of a sudden we're selling for 332 i got money out the ass so we are we are doing great 
I think a backpack is also a very good idea since I can't afford it. Um, so cool. Uh, we also, that is a challenge to get the backpack. So that's sick. Um, we will claim that and, uh, we'll get five comb fragments. Cool. And now we can set sail. Fantastic. So th this requires the standard boat. There's many other islands in the archipelago to explore. Archipelago. I, people pronounce that differently. I grew up, it was always archipelago. Um, you'll need to cross the seas to find them. If you talk to Skipper, he might be willing to sell you. To the southeast, you'll find the murky swamps. To the southwest, the frozen tundra. So I want to go to the tundra because they have discussed some things and stuff about this tundra um, that I am I am interested in. Because there's apparently somebody out here uh, that I would like to find. What the frick is this? The bee altar? What the hell? <laughs> okay, um, that's a little interesting for sure. And we can get frosty bees down here, man. So we're going to the southwest. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm just gonna go that way right now, right? I think this is good. This is not... This is not what I expected to find. <laughs> this this seems very non tundra like to me. Um, but this is fine, right? I mean, we got we got some funky stuff. I need the hive mother's blessing to interact. Only grandpa's axe can chop down these trees. Am I on the holy grounds of Apico? I can't even I can't even like walk through here. I, I need the Hive Mother's Blessing to interact with that. What the hell's going on here, man? It's crazy that, that this, uh... We, we haven't really seen any of this kinds of content. I'm grabbing my damn boat. There's no way in. I, I need to get into that middle thing, I'm sure. But this seems, uh... This seems a little blocked up at the current moment in time. Let, let's, let's give a little circling of the island. We don't know how, how big the island is. Well, I mean, I'm looking at it. It's not that big. So, I suppose that's a good thing. Is there a way in at all? Or are we just kind of kind of blocked up? Yeah, we're just kind of blocked up. I, I, don't, I don't really think there's a way in. Okay. So, eventually we'll get there. I mean, there's clearly some stuff going on. Just, just ignore. <laughs> just ignore for right now. I think that's fine. How does this backpack work? by the way. Oh, I could just open it and right click it. That's cool. Okay, this is what we want to see. This is good. Now, what's going on here? These are some grumpy bees in a hive, so I need a smoker to calm them down. Oh, and this is icy here, I, I just realized. Oh, dude, the guy skates around as well. That's cool. So, I can mine these honey core crystals, and these just straight up sell for two, man. Okay, hold on. We, we got ourselves a, a situation here. We got some funky stuff. I can basically just make money, um, like, absurdly easily from this. So that's cool. Um, but let's, let's go in here, because this is what we saw before, right? So this is the polar idol. Can be used to pray to the hive mother for snowy skies. Okay, sure. Um, can I take this with me? I can. I can also take these lanterns. The Hive Mother's Gate said that the gates used to connect the islands together, but no one seems to remember how. And I can destroy it. And there's some stone panel underneath this. And then, I mean, that's all we got. Okay. Very weird. Very weird. I, I don't really know if I need the Hive Mother's Gate. I'm going to put it back for right now. Also, Anna's doing some vacuuming in the background, so don't don't mind the... The vacuum. We're, we're prepping. We're leaving on a little trip here uh, in the next couple of days. You're who I want to find. Okay. We're, we're leaving on a trip in the next couple of days. And by next couple of days, I mean literally later today. <laughs> um, so we're, we're trying to get a lot of stuff done. I'm trying to get some videos going. She's trying to get some vacuuming in. Clean up the place a little bit. So Apis, a strange spicy substance formed from po pollen and honey that gives homemade apicola a kick. Produced by dream bees. Okay. We do have some dream bees. So that is good. What, what's going on here? This sucker's in an ice block. Can I... I... I can't do anything to it. Fair enough. Fair enough. You got me. Um, but here we can get ourselves some snowy bees. Happy days for me. Fantastic. Now I'm assuming they're going to want... 
a different climate. Beekeepers will often keep them close to hand. They cause a dramatic increase in the amount of heat produced by them. That's weird. Okay. I wonder if that affects our other bees at all. Um, I have no idea. I have no idea. But they produce something special. Uh, they do also breed with regal and stubborn bees. I mean, we'll we'll get there eventually. I have no idea what's going to happen with these uh, these grumpy ass bees. So who who are you? You are a fiery bee. Okay. Interesting. And they produce something uh, special as well. Uh, also breeding with stubborn and regal. So stubborn and regal are up here. Can only be bred near goldenrod flowers. Okay. We do have goldenrod flowers. We, we've breeded those together um, to, to get that. Dude, this place is pretty extensive down here. There's a tap here. Some frosteria seeds. Okay. I'm, I'm not going to complain about some new seed action. You do just have some, like, some some planks. Uh, whoa, what is this? Produced by Jurassic bees. Adds a smoky flavor to Apicola. I don't mind if I damn do. Holy crap, dude. The amount of content that we're, we're figuring out during this episode. So who are you? Who, 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 who? Now tell me who are you. Bobby. Hard at work over their hot forge, hammering out shards of honey core. So you are going to be special. You are going to be special. So the auto squeezer, the auto centrifuge, the auto sawmill, and then a bunch of unique funky things here. Now, I don't have honey core. I don't even know how to get honey core, if I'm being perfectly honest with you. But we also don't nearly have the amount of bees required to make you happen. Also, can I, I can do stuff at the anvil. I can repair my tools. Okay. Very interesting. I was going to take your damn seeds real quick. Um, I was going to rob you a little bit. It's an undiscovered bee. Yo, who are you? Now tell me who are you? You are the... You. What the hell are you? You're the drowsy bee. Okay. The drowsy bee. Many early islanders thought this species was afraid of people. Such are its secretive schedules. The drowsy bee is literally sleeping, restoring its energy for the cool hours of the day. Okay, um, and there's a couple more bees we can get from it since we have the drowsy. We, we'll get them domesticating immediately so that we can get some, some good stuff going. I don't give a damn about this. I mean, I could... Here, you ready? Let, let's, get, let's get interesting. So, theoretically, this anvil, right? If I do yoink. Oh. Oh. Okay, so that's how... The, I thought it would maybe be combined two tools to level it. Or to, to, you know, make it better. But it, it's literally just... You straight up... Uh, interesting. Okay, that's very interesting. And then this forge, I don't really... I don't really care about at all. Okay. Um, I'm gonna continue to walk around a little bit. Just because just I feel like we need to... We need to see some things. I'm also gonna steal another hive. Just so we have it. Right? Just... <laughs> the damn vacuum cleaner, man. She's right next to the door. Don't don't worry about it. I'm I'm not gonna get sucked up, okay? You don't have to worry about me. Okay. Um I'm I just wanna see if there's anything else. Cause the, the ice kinda it, it just encapsulates the entire area. So I'm just interested if there's anything out on these uh outer areas. We still have some fiery bees in there, but I'm not really sweating them a whole lot. These are honey drops. Okay. I mean, we, we can pick... Oh, I, I don't even have any space in the damn inventory. I'm also... I'm still... I'm looking at these uh, stalagmites, and I'm like... I feel like we should be uh, just chopping some of this stuff down to get more... So these are honey core crystals? Can be sold to... Oh! So these are what... How, how do I get these to just be honey core? I have no idea. Maybe, can, do we have some new recipes in here to create? Oh, this is the mod workbench. Yeah, this is all the crafting recipes from all the mods, which is super cool for the record. Um, okay. Not seeing anything kind of crazy here. We do have the queen cells, but I'm, I'm not really 
too concerned about that. Okay, I mean, interesting. A lot of lot of new stuff down here uh, in the icy land, and we're we're gonna need to get this honey core in order to uh, to really make some progress here. Uh, but I don't really know. I still don't really know what the hell honey core does. Right? It's just a little bit of a a strange. Strange, uh, strange little set of bees. It's just a strange little set of bees. Um, but this is good. I mean, we, we grabbed a lot of stuff here. Uh, like a ton of stuff. And we should probably get back, right? And, uh, continue. We're, we're gonna go explore the swamp as well. Oh, there's even more tundra over here, man. Okay. Um, I wanna get back, drop off a lot of this crap. Because, I mean, let's be real. There's... There's a lot of stuff here. Uh, this is definitely our home, right? I need to make a, a little dock, I think. That that could be a fun little project for today, is may make a little dock. Yeah, here's our home. So we can, we can make, honestly, right here seems like a, a great spot to make uh, a little dock. And that way we can just kind of come out, get, uh, get onto our boat, have a nice little happy life. I, I think it's a great idea. Let's put... Just for right now, um, I'm just gonna put these snowy hives here, and I'm I'm not really expecting. Yeah, so you're already mad. Why are you mad? Bees don't like this climate. It's too hot. Okay, I mean that's fair. <laughs> that is very fair. So you're not gonna like it here, which means I I probably if I'm gonna do any breeding, I need to I need to start thinking about creating a new base right all the way down there so that we can uh we can get some stuff going Let, let's use this empty bee box for right now to dump these frosty boys in now these guys i wonder if they're okay with uh with existing here because they they the climate probably didn't matter to them they're grumpy and need to be calmed but i mean that's that's <laughs> that's me when I wake up in the morning and haven't had a cup of tea, so I'm not really I'm not really sweating that a whole lot. I don't know how to make a smoker. Uh and it doesn't really appear that there's anything in here. Uh so I mean let's check the guidebook, right? Smoky eyes. Here you go. In the swamps, you may have noticed the bees are a little grumpy. Okay. Uh to calm down, you'll need to get your hands on a smoker. Benjamin in town will sell you one when you can prove you're an experienced enough beekeeper. I think we should probably go check this immediately. Because uh, if we're going to start getting into these these new bees, right? I, I think that having the smoker would be valuable. Um, I have a feeling that I will not be able to afford this. This is Barnaby. Are you Benjamin? Yeah, you're Benjamin. Uh, can I buy the smoker? I don't have enough uh, rubies for it. But I can buy it. Uh, we, we have the... We've got the the requirements. This is cool too, dude. A heater and a cooler to get the other climates in our area. That's very nice. Can I sell you like honey core? Right? So if I sell you some of this, you just don't even buy it, huh? You just straight up don't buy it? How, how about you? Do you, do you want to buy this? It sells for two, man. <laughs> okay. Use it with the, the work workbench. How about this? Will you take this? Those sell for five. I mean, I'm I'm just going to sell some of this crap. I don't... I, I, I can't sell enough of this stuff, though. Can I sell the totem? I can't sell the totem. I mean, that's fair. I, I think that would have been... Can I sell glue? I can sell glue. It don't sell for anything, though. Okay. Um, We do want to get that smoker. It's going to require us making a little bit more cash before we do it though so i'm not gonna sweat it okay i'm not gonna sweat it we'll we'll get it when we get it it's gonna require us probably doing a little bit more uh around the base here making some more apicola keep in mind we are still technically generating apicola over here if we check our uh, our system so you are a full canister of apicola so if i come over here drop you in come back here let this fill up we don't have a, a ton in the second tank, but it's still enough, right? It's still enough, and this is gonna start bottling and having a, a good time. So I'm I'm chill with this. Let's get 
a couple of things done in terms of getting some stuff sorted. I feel like I I don't have any sorting whatsoever in this damn uh, place right now. I mean, this entire chest is just a, a glorious mess. Um, I'm gonna put these hives. We, we have a bee related chest over here. This is the wood related chest. I'm just gonna throw those in there. This was our bee related chest. So let's let's toss this stuff in here. And I mean, these two bees, the drowsy and then the fiery. Put the fiery sucker in here, right? I can't get in because you're you're grumpy. They're just gonna sit forever, man. They're gonna sit forever. And then here's the damn altar. I got no clue what to do with this. I can put this in here, um, but I don't know. I mean, what what, what am I supposed to what am I supposed to do with this? Used to pray to the hive mother for snowy skies. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna level with you. Have fun um, with that. I'm I'm not gonna sweat it a whole heck of a lot. Can I just do that's organizing? There's there's no there's no quick dump in this game. I thought there was a quick dump in this game. Maybe not. Look, it's been a little bit since I played. So frosteria seeds and then honey drop seeds. These are both new. I haven't done like anything with the breeding flowers mechanic in this game. Um, and I really should, right? I really should. Spare tools. Oh, frick, man. I just used... I'm, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Put that back. Put, put the damn crate down. Thank you. Dump all of this. Just like so. I didn't want it in here, though. Set, set this as the target. Put that all back. Close you. Set you as a target. Dump it all. Oh, I just realized I had a damn backpack, man. I didn't need the... I didn't need to necessarily uh, drop off anything. I could have just gone back out with my, my backpack and dumped stuff in there. That's okay. Um, let's, let's set sail yet again. But this time, let's go south uh, southeast, and, and we'll see if we can find the swamp. I, I think that it's important to just do a bunch of exploration today uh, and see kind of what we can find. And then next episode, we're probably going to go pretty heavy on just some bee breeding, right? And oh, this, pl this place is... Uh, we, we got ourselves... What the heck's going on here? We got actual chests sitting here? Swart, swarm... Swarm wart seeds. Okay. Just a little swarm wart. It's a common bee. Beekeeper's delight. We we have some, I'm pretty sure. So I'm not going to sweat it. This this is not a swamp. If this is a swamp, I'm I'm very uh, confused. I'm very confused, but I don't think you're a swamp. Just keep going down. I mean, theoretically, there's going to... This is definitely a swamp. Okay. <laughs> it is definitely a swamp. So you are some kind of swampy queen. What What are you? Are you a swampy bee? You are a muggy bee. Okay. But you probably require um you probably require some kind of some kind of uh you know warmer climate or something. And then we also have these guys which are grumpy. Uh so let's let's sneak over here. So we got we got two kinds of grumpy bee now. And we don't have a smoker, but we are discovering bees, right? So I, I feel like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I, I think he would sell me the damn smoker at this point. Or no, the smoker I'm allowed to buy. It's the other stuff that required like 13, 13 bees or something like that. Aggressive territorial species. Long infested the swamps. Interesting. The smoke technology allows us to, to do stuff with them. That, uh, good to know, you know, very good to know. Let's let's see. So far, the swamp is is kind of small. I have a feeling there's a a bigger yeah. There's a bigger section. I don't know if there's an NPC down here, but I'm gonna guess yeah, cause there's literal infrastructure right here. So what what do we got going on down here that is interesting for Tyler to see? I hate the freaking sailing through here. Oh hello, <laughs> another new bee. Don't mind if I do. Dude, it's, it's actually a little over overwhelming, the amount of uh, damn bees. Misty bee, most land-based bees reign, and even mist can impede their ability to fly. Water-repellent bristles, interesting. Well, I will take you. 
we can always uh, get you back set up and ready to go. The vacuum cleaner going yet again. This one is a little further away. I'm not sure you can hear this one. I can, though. And I love it. I love, Dude, I actually don't mind the sound of a vacuum cleaner. It's one of those just, like, soothing things. Hey, we have another one of these and another NPC. Okay. Uh, cool. Very cool. So let's get out. Come on in. Guess what? It's a damn swap idol. We we take you. I'm not going to, like, completely destroy this one, though. I think we can live happily here. And then who are you? You're Abby. Okay. And you sell a compost bin. The compost bin mulches seeds and flowers into grass. I would like to just buy this. I, I think that's actually kind of useful. And then you... you sell a bunch of uh, various seeds and things. Can I steal anything from you? I don't really need any of I don't need any of this, man. I'm sorry. I don't need any of this. I'm not even going to bother to to rob you uh cuz you are you you do have honey that I could come and rob, but I I make enough honey, man. I'm I'm not sweating this. I'm not going to rob our dear friend Abby. We also don't really know who Abby is and we just met her. Uh, but I'm not going to steal from her. I will be a kind soul. So, I believe this is bottom of the map. Um, they did say... So, they, they gave us southeast, southwest, right? And and said that these are... Uh, south Southeast, obviously, the swamp. Southwest, the um, tundra. And just like that, we're back at the tundra. I want to see if there's anything to the north, right? Because theoretically we're in the middle. Our our time. I mean, there's this thing which I I still don't, I still don't fully understand what the hell's going on in this island. Um, but is there anything to the the north at all? This will be the the journey to have. So that's our base. There is an island up. Oh, what the frick is this? <laughs> Who the hell are you? <laughs> Mothanese? Okay. You just buy rec- You have records. This is the greatest day of my life. Okay, I will be buying everything this fox has sometime in the future, but I don't necessarily have the cash. Okay, so you you are just your own little island um, to the, the northwest. Let's check the northeast. I mean, I, I have every reason to assume that there may perhaps... This is just our base. Um, I have every reason to believe that the northwest may have something interesting i don't know what that interesting will be but something interesting that we can uh mess around with and, and do some stuff with although i don't know th this extends pretty far out this way so maybe maybe there will not be anything up here yeah there's not okay um that's good though that's good so we kind of we got a general idea of the the mapping of our uh town here we know where to go. We know what to do. Um, now, honestly, I mean, I, I, for one, I want to stop back in here just for a quick second because now I have discovered a good bit of species. So, yeah, you will actually sell me the acclimatizer now. Used to acclimatize bees to like certain types of weather. I mean, that's that's really strong, right? That's really strong. You're just selling types of bees. Um now you're you're selling all of the bees that I already have, so that's I feel like that is not as valuable to me in any way, shape, or form. Um, how about you, Beatrix? You're selling a squeezer. I already have one. A bed, I don't care. A workbench, I don't care. Yeah, I don't I don't really need anything that you are rocking. But you are probably selling. I think I just broke his damn pier. You're now selling the cargo boat, which has storage built in. Okay, very good. Very good. I didn't break your pier either. And then there's Poseidon. He's still selling fishing rods. Good good for him. Um, I don't know where the hell I put my fishing rod. It's probably in the, the one chest down near the, the lab laboratory or the work bee workshop or whatever the hell we called it. I don't know what the hell I'm even talking about. Um, but good exploration mission today. I, I think that this puts us in a good spot to really start um, messing around with some of the more intricate mechanics in the game, seeing if we can uh, get some some more automation and stuff in point. I, I do want to, before we, we kind of check out of here for the day, I want to make a mod bench, okay? 
Uh, and the reason is because we have these hoppers, right? I believe the hoppers are going to be our way of automating things. And as a content creator who wants to, to kind of make, make a, a good bit of content in this game, just kind of utilizing some of the, the unique stuff in the game and, and cut out a little bit of the grind of the game. I think that getting automation in place could end up really being uh, a godsend for the series. So I, I am going to try to get this working. We should make another little building for, for modded shenanigans. And maybe that goes right here. Um, so let, let's just put the workbench down here for now. But okay, it says I got no mods loaded. Um, I definitely have mods loaded though. Let, let's, let's see, let's see real quick. So if I save and quit ya, you're, you're saving. You're having a good save. I, I did do a lot in this uh, episode. Now you give me the mods. I did not activate the hoppers. Okay, there we go. Very good. Um, Honestly, dude, give me all of the mods. <laughs> now this is definitely... I, I would not probably... Oh, yeah, I'll update you as well. I would probably not recommend going this insane um, <laughs> with mods if you haven't done everything else in the game. Um... But, I mean, more content's more content. I'm never going to be upset about that. Who the frick are you two? Beautiful day for ice cream. What the hell? Okay. Um, <laughs> this is incredible. Oh, my God, dude. Look at all this. How very interesting. Um, can I, like... I can pick you up. That's amazing. So, I could make homes for you guys. And, and make a whole whole world. I would like to just <laughs> put you in my inventory for right now. That's very creepy. But that's okay. Um, Candy bench. Okay, hoppers. Here we... Yeah, dude. We, we need to do this. We need to do this immediately. We're going to mess with this next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, uh, liking the video. Much appreciated. Thank you for the, the support on Apico and for waiting so long for me to get another episode out. Um, I really, really do appreciate it. You are the dang best. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.